Keep going, Cicely. And then dribble around the corner of the box. She's got to pick a new side, so George, you can go either side, it doesn't really matter. Okay. And then back through the blue or yellow, yeah. and then back into the middle, cool. into the red box. That's what you've got to do. Remember, okay. <laughs> you can use a different side, you have to use the same side. Oh, Lee, I love that. Who's trying to tackle me, guys? <laughs> Go out again. Yeah, and go out again, just different sides. Can we change your sides? Don't just follow George. Can we just change your side? <laughs> hey, the know, the know if they follow George, they're going to get in the picture. <laughs> George, pre season started early for you today. You get the sweat on. I know, yeah. I hope it's not as hard as this actually uh, come Monday, but the. Uh, yeah, it's been great running out here with the, with the kids here and on this great surface, but uh, pre-season's always tough anyway, so uh, you can never really fully prepare yourself for it. You've got to score in the goal, George, after you finish. <laughs> and you, of course, will be well aware, because you've done your sports journalism degree, that this is the time of year when your name and everyone's name is bandied about. Is it at all distracting for you? Do you take any notice or not? Um, I'm not on Twitter and things, so I think that helps, but of course you hear things, I, ha I do have an agent and there's people are talking about it all the time, but uh, it's a little bit of a distraction, but not enough to put me off, it's more of a compliment to be honest, I, you know, I don't think any player quite likes the fact that there's interest in them, because it means you've done something right in a way, so um, I'm very happy at Borough and I'm ready to start again on Monday for another successful season. I don't know, again, back to Wemp, you, you were saying, how special Teeks that was, it was a place that had, had got hold of you. Can, can you just explain why, what it is about the place that, that you like so much? Probably BBC Tees, that's the main, <laughs> the main reason, but no. Um, no just, uh, just the, it's, there's lots of reasons, it's, it's the community, the people around the club, even those that aren't involved in the football club, they're genuine nice people. And, there's, you can, you don't, it's hard to explain sometimes, you just settle at a club and I think the fans have had a lot to do with it, they've always been good to me and um, I, just, I just love playing for Borough, it's such a great great club and that's why it's such a shame that they're not in the Premier League after last season but we, we've got to try and push to, to get there and that's the main thing, that's what the chairman wants every season and he puts so much time, effort and money into it that we deserve it. My name is Stuart Smith, I'm chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Foundation. It's my pleasure to welcome you all today. As you can imagine, a facility of this size and complexity and cost, nearly half a million pounds cost, could not possibly have been achieved without the help of external funding. This was achieved, we were successful in that funding, and great thanks must go on behalf of the Foundation uh, to the Premier League and Football League Facilities Fund and also to uh, Tees Valley Community Foundation for their 10% match funding. We also received ongoing support and advice from the uh, from uh, Andy Roberts at uh, Redcan Cleveland Borough Council also Adrian Morris from the Football Foundation and the North Riding County FA in order, both during the bid process and also during the construction phase. The facility will be used by Borough Rangers as their base with 30 teams both to train and compete and will also be uh, operating our new season uh, Premier League Kicks programme from the facility. We expect that local will increase the usage by local schools and also girls and disability football teams. So it's a huge step forward for us um, and I don't think anybody can fail to be, be impressed. So without further ado, I'll hand you on to Neil Bendelow, Deputy Mayor, that's not that right, <laughs> Deputy Mayor Neil Bendelow of Redcan Cleveland Borough Council. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning ladies and gentlemen <coughs> and school children. As Deputy Mayor of Reckon Cleveland, I'm delighted to be here at the Hale and Shaw Centre to help open the new 3G pitch and refurbishment. 
through successful partnership working between the MFC Foundation and Redkine Cleveland Borough Council, funding has been achieved for the project. As a local ward councillor for the area, I am pleased that the club and council can get together to help provide such a facility which will help support the local community. The new pitch and refurbished facility will hopefully lead to more people taking part in sport in our area, increasing the levels of physical activity for the local people. It will also engage more local people in football activities and also I'm sure they will enjoy being involved with their favourite football club. That's fine. A couple more like that. Okay. That's lovely. Can we get on this way, please? It's my fault. Let's have a cheer when it goes, Tiz. Yeah. Yeah.